a similar lifetime oh, see, this of is uh, broadcast back to back to yeah, see we've had a, uh, a premature uh, separation of the umbilical on stage two so we're going to have to abort for the day Okay, copy that. Uh, this is LC on countdown one. Abort, abort, abort. This is LC on countdown one. Abort, abort, abort. Proceed to abort safing procedures. Three top. And well, we just heard on the uh, countdown loop they've had to basically scrub for the day. They've had a premature. Uh, Go ahead. Uh, dislocation of one of the umbilicals on the second stage. And obviously, John, that's uh, you know that's not going to be a launch today. And then, of course, they'll have to regroup and and uh, coordinate uh, planning for turnaround activities, right? Yeah, that's correct. Uh, this will likely be a 48-hour recycle. To verify master arm enable indicators extinguish on failed safe panel. As we discussed uh, early on the broadcast, this was it's all intended to be the last in a series of tests, and the further we get through the count, the more we learn each time. Well, absolutely, a you know, test flight is just that, so um, um, work through issues on the ground. It's certainly better to have them here than in flight, so um, definitely something to work through. So we'll stand by uh, for a little bit and... Um, and uh, See if we can uh, find out some information for you on the turnaround activities uh, and whether or not we'll have uh, a um, post-scrub uh, press briefing to uh, lay out. Obviously, this has uh, just happened, so we'll uh, stand by and and uh, see if we can get you some more information. Again, the, uh, the launch today has been uh, uh, scrubbed at uh, just about the 12-minute mark of the uh, countdown uh, due to a... Um, premature separation of one of the umbilicals up there on the uh, second stage of uh, the Antares rocket. Safe indication into 